Now an NBC5 exclusive, a rideshare driver who was shot twice in the chest during a carjacking this week is talking about what happened. Tonight he's recovering at home and spoke with NBC5's V Win. Speaking in Vietnamese, Minh Dong is sharing his story for the first time about how he was nearly killed driving for Uber in Chicago. I was bleeding so much I couldn't believe that I survived. I should have been dead. The 51-year-old believes it was a setup and that a passenger created a fake profile for a pickup to rob him in the Austin neighborhood. They're like little kids. They were wearing face masks, big jackets, and had their hoods on. Dong says he was confronted by three suspects. It happened Wednesday night around 10 near Iowa Street and LeClaire Avenue. I was waiting for about three minutes when they came from the back, pointed the gun at me, and told me to get out of the car. And when I got out of the car, they shot me. The rideshare driver says he stood in the middle of the street bleeding from his chest. I was waving and yelling for help, really loud. I was waving so neighbors could see me. I was yelling, help, help. A neighbor came out minutes later, called 911, and gave him a towel to stop the bleeding. Police said, I'm lucky I survived. The previous victim from the week before was shot and killed. Since December 3rd of last year, Chicago police say at least three rideshare drivers have been shot in Austin, two of them deadly, including Lyft driver Adriana Arocha Duque. The father of three has been held at gunpoint twice while on the job and says he is ready to give it up. Driving for Uber gives you the freedom and flexibility but driving for Uber is not worth it. The victim says the three suspects took off running, left behind the car, and got away with his phone. At this time, Chicago police only have a vague description of those suspects. Reporting from Mount Sinai Hospital, V1 NBC5 News. Our thanks to V for bringing us his story.